creating the hot edge effect is going to be a lot simpler and faster uh, simply because we've already done a lot of the work required uh, for that effect so we don't have to recreate any vertex maps uh, we just need to adjust the existing one and even the texture itself we can just modify the current scratches texture and make it look like it's glowing hot metal and let's start by having the right vertex map what i'm going to do here is make a copy of the current one so just hold control and drag to the right and let's call this one vertex map pot so we can tell the difference i'm gonna go back to edge mode let's select our logo quickly just go to character and paint set the mode to erase making sure the strength is set to 100 percent and i'm just going to click apply all and this should remove the current paint but your viewport might not give you the correct feedback until you click somewhere and that should now disappear i'm gonna click away from uh, from this tag and get my loop selection tool and this time i only want to select the center of the border section here so let's just go around and that's it very simple go back to our tag go to character and paint once again set the mode to add and then apply selected and uh, again your viewport might not give you feedback until you just click somewhere else again and uh, there we go now we have the vertex map going around just the outer section only let's enable the interactive render region and uh, get a little bit closer here so we can see a live update as we create this the tiling on this uh, scratches texture by the way was uh, 3 by 3 and i was using the cubic projection mode just trying to make sure we're on the same page i'm going to make a copy of the scratches texture and let's call this one hot edge and I'm going to go into the alpha section and switch out the vertex map to the second one we just created to make sure this is going to be applied to just the border section. Let's go to the luminance channel and uh, I was expecting a change in my render here but I need to apply this to the logo before I can see anything and I'm just going to tile this exactly the same as the other texture so cubic and 3x3 three three. and that there is fine let's switch off the color channel for now and I'm gonna go to the luminance channel and get the noise effect let's uh, dive in here set the space to be UV 2D and I'm going to choose a deep orange kind of color so something like this and something a bit closer to a yellow maybe a bit more yellow and the global scale is going to be 50. i'm going to copy this noise texture go to the color channel and i'm just going to paste this here as well i'll set this color to be this type of orange and i'm going to multiply these to each other so they blend in a bit better the colors are fine here but i need to make some adjustments in the alpha section to make those edges look a little bit more like they did in the preview and uh, again if you are working on a different project you would play around with these numbers until you get something which looks right and that's what i did in the original example but uh, I've already done the work and I know the numbers which are going to work here. So let's just go ahead and change everything. The opacity of the image folder needs to be set to 100. The low clip and high clip are going to be 80 and 20 respectively. Then the vertex map folder, I'm going to bump this up to 75. And those are the settings we're going to be carrying forward. Now it doesn't look all that great, but uh, remember we haven't done any lighting at all and uh, our render settings are still just uh, set to the default preview settings by the time we start lighting and uh, adjusting the render settings correctly this is going to start to look really great but that's it that concludes this tutorial and this is where we are in the next section we're going to be doing the lighting